On the record or off the record? That was so cool. Was oh my gosh. I edit a lot of audio at my work, so I always go like that and people think I'm crazy. So I'm no, glad you guys get it. Yeah. So we'll start with the questions we practiced. Okay. So how would you describe your musical style and influences? Uh, Elvis based meets Kids Bop. Meets, meets Kids Bop. I love that. What like era of Kids Bop? Like are we talking 2010s or? Uh, I well, think, well 2010s was like, our, Kids Bop is always like kind of catches up, so it yeah. takes a little while. So I think that they're, it's more like maybe 2015 Kids Bop. And then Cars for Kids. Gotcha. Interesting. Elvis meets Kids. That was good. Um, can you share some insights into the creative process behind your music? I'm specifically curious about the line, one of my favorite lines of music. Shush girls, shut your lips, do the Helen Keller and talk with your hips. Yeah, for us, we just like to go in the studio and, I mean, have a good time. We just like to have fun and, and bring that spirit into when we're creating music and whether it's, you know, stuff that's written, I don't know, more sad or morose and for other artists, because we do songwriting for other artists. We're a lot for kids. <laughs> we, we're the... Where the voices be on kids' pop? Ghost Riders. Uh, no, but we like. I think we just like to have a good time and bring that into the studio. And I think that the party that we create there, when we're having a good time, we want to bring when we play live. And that's sort of, I don't know. Like we just want it to be one to one. So just like when people come and in, to our show, we want it to be an all inclusive and fun environment. So we have fun with it when we, we like that fun. That's awesome. And the line, "I'm a vegetarian and I'm not." Can't say that on the air. Freaking, freaking scared of him. Are either of you vegetarians, or is that just a line? I was, I was at the time, uh, and then I think I was just eating soap. I was like veggies slash vegan on the road, and at that time, that just meant eating donuts and every, like fried French fries and stuff. Because and I was like, man, I'm just actually malnourished. So I kind of switched it up. But at the at the time, the line was was real, and at the end of the day, it's just kind of a good like punchline. I'm a vegetarian out of spite, so I get it. I, Are I you? Know, yeah. Out of like being more morally above everyone else? It evolved into that. It's I was like how you can kind of just like... Yeah, look at people like, oh, you're eating chicken really? nuggets. Mm. Uh, My professor was like, I bet you couldn't be vegetarian for a week and I've been vegetarian for a year and a half. Wow, good for you. There you go. Yeah. Well, the line's for you. Thank you. I Like I'm saying it, I'm like, that's for me. That's, that's yeah. for you. As a middle schooler, I was like eating a hamburger. I was like, I can never be this cool. But now when I'm you actually... When first heard that line on Kids Bob, you were like... I was just like, wow, this feels out of place. Yeah. Didn't even know what a vegetarian was on Kids Bob. <laughs> So the next, are there any particular songwriters or musicians who've influenced your songwriting? I know you talked about Elvis and of course the pivotal kids yeah. bop. Anything yeah. else? Uh, early on, let's see, Lil John. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> For a second I was like, is he here? <laughs> Where is he? He teleported in. He's a part of the interview too. He walks through the door. Nine Inch Nails. A band called The Fame. Elliot Smith. Elliot Smith. <laughs> Elvis. We're just naming specifically uh, kind of late era Vegas sad Elvis. Sad Elvis, got you. Like married in a casino, Elvis. Like Elvis, not doing that great, Elvis. Oh, and no. Bill Withers. Bill Withers. He's from West Virginia. Okay. Sorry, that just came out of nowhere. But I'm from West Virginia, so that's like the one thing I have besides Steve Harvey. <laughs> okay. So, how do you engage with your audience during your live shows, and will this show be any different since it's on John Carroll's campus? We just like to make our shows a party, man. Like our, it's funny. I, we started making, like, our, from our very first shows, it was more about just less of a pure performance and more just an inclusive party. And you know, whether that's on a TV performance or a college campus or in somebody's sweaty basement where we started, like, it's all the same to us. And so, yeah, it's just making people feel included, putting smiles on people's faces, playing suspicious minds twenty-five times back. Back, back. That's the one thing I feel like. I mean, we play our set as we mapped out, but I feel like we definitely like to just like we like to go on stage and just sort of like feel the energy of the crowd and you know like whether suspicious minds or whatever comes out and there's like an impro improvisational quality of it. We're not quite like the Grateful Dead. We don't just riff things and jam out, but we do like to just gauge, you know, like not have any preconceived notions of how things are going to go and just kind of have fun with that as it rolls out and, you know, interact with the crowd and make each show special as it, as it happens. So yeah, this show will be different just like every show is different for us, but. I think we're really, really, really bad comedians, like train wreck comedians yeah. that are okay at music. I'm like more like a decent comedian who's awful at music, okay. so I feel like we can play off of each other with that. Okay. I try my best. 
So what would you consider to be your proudest achievements in your music career so far? And are there any goals or milestones you're working toward? One of them was during soundtrack, I sang Suspicious Minds. Have we, have we mentioned that yet before? I don't think every, you have. every decision that we've made has brought us to that moment. Yeah. Which is, and I, I think I did an, a barely okay job of it, which is... Not top of it right there. I was proud of that. I have a feeling it's going to come out again during the set. What? Yeah, that's all we're playing. Over over. It's just I have, I have a sneaking suspicion he's gonna sing it over every song, which is gonna be great. I mean, I support every choice he makes. On it's a weird like a yes. There's no yes, no maybe. bad ideas. Type of thing. Bad. Right. And first thought, best thought. I would go with it. I think yeah. that's a mountaintop moment yeah. for sure. Are there any exciting projects or tours on the horizon that fans can look forward to? Uh, we are. Here, which is, a, 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 I mean, we're one day at a time type people. <laughs> I'm not too dumb to think. <laughs> we also do not, yeah, we're not good with schedules, so we don't really know what's ahead for us. But we're, you know, it's that living in the moment and also just being so dumb that you can't really see past the week in front of you. So, no, we're excited to be here. We, we I got some other college shows. We love playing colleges and universities, man. I mean, we both went to the University of Colorado, big. Big state school, super fun, um, and some made some of our best friends, had some of our best times. Um, and it's just fun. I think our music is conducive to just rocking a party and, and making everybody feel included. And so we got some more college shows. We got some, we're doing some shows with Boys Like Girls and some other bands on, a, on the West Coast where we have some festivals lined up for next year. So we're, we're excited. That's awesome. Um, last question Are there any lessons you've learned along the way that you'd like to share? Lessons. Uh, I think we can't go on together with suspicious minds, and I'm caught in a trap. I can't walk out because I love you too much, baby. And that's the mountain top. Yes, right yes, and uh, uh, hey, now you're an all star. Get your game on. Go, go play. play. All that glitters, skull, and only shooting, shooting stars, stars will break the mold. mold. It's like we're all, we all like know this. We're all tuned into the universe. Yeah, we all. It's like the ultimate like life lesson for everyone. And I think we're all just on the same. I think that was like Plato. And also, somebody once told me the world's gonna roll. Yeah, I am the sharpest tool in the shed. She's looking kind of dumb. With her finger on her thumb. In the shape of an L on her forehead. <laughs> that was awesome. That was my mountain top. <laughs> I can't get you out of my mind